Hey folks, my name is Brian and you're watching Survival on Purpose. Tonight's video is going to be about what's the best ferro rod or fire steel. Stick with me. Okay, so as you can see we're here in my uh, beautiful basement studio. Sorry about that, it's now dark, dark 30 actually. Um, Still a little icy here in Georgia. I thought it all melted. I went out to my truck this morning to go to work really early before sunrise. I was carrying my tripod and I slipped and fell flat on uh, where I sit down. And you know, thankfully it was dark and nobody saw me, but you know, it didn't hurt me but it, anything about my pride. But I got up and went to work. Um, later in the afternoon, I was going out and I walked out into one of my favorite video spots in the woods, carried my tripod and camera and my trusty fire steels and got, got to set everything up and realized my tripod was completely broken, the part that the camera screws on and broken, so wasn't able to make a video um, because I wasn't anywhere to set the camera. So I'll go ahead and do it tonight because I really want to get this out there. It's, um, so anyway, it's enough of that. That's why we're here in this beautiful studio in front of my son, son's drum set. So what I've got is I decided to do a little shootout here between three very popular fire steels. First of all, I have the light my fire army version um, 2.0 and what this includes includes this, this pretty good size fire steel here a little i got the orange and they come in orange and black it's got a special little striker and it's got a lanyard on it and it's not elastic and the other thing this little striker has got a somewhat of an emergency whistle i guess if you blow it just right it's kind of loud so and this thing's about 18 almost 19 dollars okay on amazon so that's the light in my fire version that's supposed to be a really good one from europe second i have and you can see this one's kind of beat up i've been using this one a pretty good bit this is from firesteel.com and this is the they have a lot of different sizes on fire steel this is the survival size and it's 5 16 by 3.15 inches i just remember that i'm not sure what this one is i think this one's 3 8 Maybe even maybe even um, seven sixteenths. It's, it's obviously a little fatter. The fire. Steel. And when I bought this, I actually bought a whole set that comes with a magnesium bar rod and a what they call a super striker. And I'd say the striker works pretty good. And it's on a lanyard. So we'll talk about that one. This was about right now. This one's eleven and a half bucks. And then this one is just a cheap five dollar ferro rod from Dave Canterbury's store, thepathfinderstore.com. And it's actually the longest of all of them, as you can see. Um, and it's probably 3 8 I'd say this is 3 8 so maybe this one's a little bigger, 7 16 And it's on a little plastic handle, which guaranteed will come off the first time you use it hard because I've had another one of these do it. And it's got a little, just a little hacksaw striker. Five bucks. So we got five bucks, 11 and a half bucks for this kit, and 18, almost 19 bucks. So let's readjust the camera here. And let's just do a little taste test, so to speak, and see how these things work. So I thought a bit we would do, to be fair, is I'm going to take this, start with the one in the middle because it's got the magnesium rod bar attached to it. And this is the firesteel.com survival fire steel, size fire steel. I'm going to take, scrape some of this magnesium off, and then we'll try, see which, how well each, each of these work in turn. So to start with the... Um, this is supposed to be a super scraper, so we're going to use it to uh, scrape this magnesium. Just get a little pile off. I've honestly never been a big fan of magnesium because it's never been really easy to scrape for me. This is really pretty soft, so maybe I just had the wrong magnesium. I never really had an actual Dones magnesium bar before. Now, I did see a video just the other day from Wingman115 comparing a Dones magnesium bar to which was about seven or eight bucks to a uh, Harbor Freight brand which is about three bucks and the Dones beat it hands down so not sure how this is supposed to be their own special soft magnesium it does scrape pretty well so we're going to go ahead and get a pile of it here and get right back to you Okay, so we've got a little less than a dime-sized pile here. Now, if we were actually trying to start a fire in the wilderness in a survival situation, that might not be. I probably want a lot more than that, but that only took me a minute to do that. So I'm going to take first, we're going to start with the uh, Light My Fire 
fire steel. And this is a sp also a special little striker that comes with it. Um, and in order to be fair, we're going to use a striker that comes with it instead of trying to use a knife. But you can use a knife for the back of either one of these. Any kind of sharp knife, sharp spine, even, even a semi-sharp spine. You can see that this one's not even a very sharp spine on the back of this little knife here. But it'll, it'll throw sparks. So we're going to use a striker that comes with it to give it the maximum possible benefit. So, so that worked pretty well. Two little strikes. So that's the... Uh, Light my fire, the most expensive one, 1850. And scrape another pile of magnesium and we'll try a different one. Okay, so we get another little pile here, magnesium, and this time we're going to use the Light My Fire Fire Steel and it comes with its own super striker, which is super scraper, which is really actually did a really good job on the magnesium. I'm pretty impressed with the magnesium. It's not didn't take me very long to scrape this little pile up here. And see how well it lights now. Now if you can see this one, I've been using it with a lot of different things on the back. It's really rough. Sometimes it, it gets that way when it's if you don't have a really good edge, it skips it across there or whatever, you, or you don't do a good job of striking it. I'm gonna try to find a smooth spot on here to be fair to it, but let's see what we got here. Got a little oxidation on this one, but once you scrape it off, it lit right up. So that's the uh, firesteel.com model. Okay, so now we've got the $5 model from the Pathfinder store, and you can see this is brand new, never been used, so it's, you might need to, we might have to scrape the coating off, but we're going to go ahead and just do it, we'll do it brand new and see what kind of a, kind of a deal we get with it. So I think we got to scrape the coating off. Let's get this coating scraped off and be fair about it. Okay. All right, so the uh, if you can see the uh, hacksaw blade's got a little little flat area here. I wasn't really doing that right, so it's got a an area that has been ground off to use as a striker. So let's let's now that we got let's give it a fair shot. Now that we've got the the oxidation off of it and I figured out how to use the striker. Let's see. Once again, we have the $5 fire steel, the, uh, including everything else, 11 and a half bucks fire steel here and the uh, $19 fire steel. As far as I'm concerned, they all seem to work pretty good. Let's take another quick look without using the striker that came with them let's see what we get so we'll start with the Dave Canterbury five dollar model and I've got my old hickory butcher knife here and I actually modified this and cut a groove in the back of it which I thought would help with the striker I don't know if it does or not doesn't really appear to that's the five dollar version here's the uh, $11 version works very well and here's the $18, $19 version okay so as far as I can tell the best fire steel or ferro rod is the one that you have with you when you need it all three of these from the $5 version up to the almost $20 version they strike make, make hot sparks honestly I think the $5 version is probably the least, um, I guess, makes the least hot sparks, or, or maybe it took a little effort, but it could be just because it's new. But it, it worked also. I've, li I've lit a lot of fires with one just like this. So, um, again, I think there's maybe a little difference in quality, but I don't know that this one's four times better than this one. This one says it lights 12,000 fires. It is a little bigger. I'll have to say that's one thing I like about the... Uh, firesteel.com again this comes as a kit uh, for some reason this one is drilled for a lanyard hole and you really need to buy one that's drilled if you want one to drill because if you try to drill this thing you're going to well obviously you're liable to have a, a, a massive spark explosion on your hands but for some reason this thing is really stuck on here I can't move this so I've not tried to cut it out but um, this again is the survival model they what I like about firesteel.com is they make several different sizes the next size up is Armageddon and they have an Armageddon and an Armageddon Junior 
the Armageddon is three eighths of an inch by four inches. I think the Junior is about three inches, but by four inches. And this whole kit with Armageddon is sixteen bucks with the with the um, magnesium and the striker and the lanyard. And again, it is it is three eighths of an inch by four inches, which is a little bigger than this one from Dave Canterbury. And then the next one up, which is really cool is a, called a bunker. It's not the next one. There's actually a couple of sizes, but, but they have one that's a half inch by five inches. And it is a, um, with the scraper and magnesium, it's 28 bucks. Now you get the same size magnesium, but you have a, a fully, again, it's a half inch by five. So it's about this long and it's, you know, big as round as my finger. So it's a, it's a, gosh, there's no telling how many fires you can start with that thing. Again, it's 28 bucks. So it's a little more than this one, but I'd say for the money, it's a very, very good fire steel. Strikes very good. Probably for the money, this firesteel.com one wins my vote. But again, they're all good. I wouldn't hesitate to use any, any of them. Again, this one, probably the handle is going to come off use it very much. It's just what happens. Um, this one, I probably, I want to get along when you can actually make a handle. I've heard nothing but good about the light in my fire. So again, just make sure you have one with you. I usually keep a few with me. So anyway, I hope this short video has been helpful. Um, Ferro rods, fire steels, whatever you want to call them. In my opinion, they are the best um, all-around source of starting a fire there is. As far as long-term survival type use, one of these things here will do you really well. And you don't have to worry about them. You can't, you can't tear them up, really. They're made out of steel. If you get them wet, just dry them off. And so I hope it's been helpful. Again, the best fire steel, in my opinion, is the one you have on you. But out of these three, if I had to choose, I would probably go with the firesteel.com but they're all great i got this one recently it's a like i say light my fire and then the uh five dollar pathfinder store i'll put links below to all of these so i appreciate you watching thanks for uh leaving your comments below if you got anything to add i really really want to hear what you have to say and most of all thank you thank you thank you for subscribing uh, you know i had somebody ask me what difference is it making somebody subscribes and that was a really good question and one of the one of the reasons is that when you subscribe it's kind of like letting youtube know that hey somebody out there likes what i'm doing and it actually opens up some other opportunities and un kind of unlocks some other features of youtube that that will um, allow me to promote the channel and do hopefully get my videos out and help more people so once again i really appreciate it tell all your friends about it if you like it uh this is brian you're watching survival on purpose remember survival is not an accident so be prepared See you next time.